Automatic Shutoff Valve An automatic shutoff valve controls the water entering your reverse osmosis system. It shuts off the incoming water supply to the RO unit when the storage tank reaches around two-thirds of the tank's capacity and turns the water back on when the tank's pressure drops. A faulty automatic shutoff valve could cause constant wastewater to drain. This video will show you how to replace the valve in a standard reverse osmosis water system. Step 1. Shut off the feed water valve. Step 2. Shut off the tank valve and turn on the drinking faucet to drain out water. Step 3. Locate and disconnect the automatic shutoff valve. We recommend removing and connecting the tubing one at a time to avoid flooding and confusion. Be prepared to catch the excess water from the tubing with a container and towels. Please note, the automatic shutoff valve has two valves inside, a high-pressure valve and a low-pressure valve. The valves can be easily identified by their thickness. The thicker side is the high-pressure valve, and the thinner side is the low-pressure valve. The valves are directional. Please look for the inlet and outlet marks on the valve body prior to installing the new valve. Step 4. Connect the pre-filter water outlet tubing to the automatic shutoff valve high-pressure inlet and connect the high-pressure outlet to the RO membrane water inlet. Step 5. Connect the membrane pure water outlet to the automatic shutoff valve low-pressure inlet and connect the low-pressure outlet to the system T connector. Please make sure all tubings are inserted half an inch deep into the fittings and locked with locking clips to prevent leaks. Step 6. Turn on the feed water valve and check for leaks. Step 7. Shut off drinking faucet after air purged out. Step 8. Turn on the tank valve. Your reverse osmosis system is now ready for use. Please refer to the user manual or contact us directly if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.